Welcome to die. I mean, welcome to the LP. You carelessly step from the ledge to the bottom of the fissure, as should be expected from such a stupid stunt, you die. So many different messages that I can give you. Yep. In we go. A really dark cave now, isn't it? Very dark. You hear the sound of many small scratchy footsteps moving towards you. Ow! Nash. Growl. Crunch. Snap. You've just been felled by a killer cave beaver. You now know the meaning of excruciating when it's used in reference to the level of pain. Quite the pain. Okay, so... Let's check our inventory. Hold gem. You take out the gem and hold it in your palm. The room is illuminated by its glow. You hear a small shriek and the sound of many footsteps moving away from you. Here we go. It's weird that we have to go behind the rock to move on. Whoa! The ground below your feet disappears. You tumble down through the darkness. Whew. That was a rather spectacular entrance. All systems seem to be intact, though. The dwellers mumble something. The translator responds with, Follow us, beanpole! They hurry away. Look. You're almost... You're at the bottom of the gorge, almost totally surrounded by impassable rock. There is an opening to the southeast. The walls extend up a great distance. I guess that might be the gem. Take gem. Got it. Let's save. And... Let's move down. Welcome to our canyon. You look to be from out of town. On behalf of all of us, I would like to thank you for saving our compadre from the hunters. You are welcome to stay in the canyon as long as you like. When you're ready to leave, simply say the word and my assistance will show you the only way out for a being of your size. When you leave, however, we must seal the exit behind you for our own protection. Goodbye and good luck. So, yeah. Let's be careful. The rock walls are too tall and solid to pass through. Say the word. And down we go. Let's go ahead and save the game. Let's also notice that the scoreboard is apparently invisible. So... Um... Hold gem. You can't maneuver with the gem in your hand. Hold gem in mouth. Ah, better. Not a great deal better but better. At least you can see now. One of the deaths, by the way, is if it's really dark in here. That's a dead end right there, apparently. Suddenly, an inhuman guttural moan echoes through the narrow caves. You're not sure which direction it came from. The only thing you do know for sure is that you've just soiled your... Ew. Soiled your undergarment. Huh. <sighs> They would do that, wouldn't they? What do we have over here? A dead end. Okay. We have to navigate a maze. What do we have to the to the right over here? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe something here. Nope, not there. How about up here? I don't know. Was this a circle that I just went in? It might be. Whoa! Oh my. Now you know why they wanted to close the hole behind you. You've become the unwilling victim of dreaded cave squid. Tough luck. <laughs> And, of course, yeah, that music always means that you're dead. What a trap. A mean trap. Anything down here? Maybe. Huh. It only allows me to go right, not left. Let's go down lower. Much lower. We will find our way out, though. Trust me. 
down again. Okay, that's a dead end. And over here, we go even lower. And another dead end there. This way, what do we get? Let's move on. This might be the exit. And we're out. You have an opportunity to stand and spare your tender knees. The crystal clear water gives off a gentle glow. In abundance, it is able to light the room. You take the glowing gem from between your aching jaws. You notice it is overly moist as you slip it into your pocket. Let's go ahead and save. Even though this looks peaceful, you can die here too. Into the water we go. Ah, this is better than a shower massage. So, go ahead and save once we're near this, because there are two paths that we can take. Save. Look at the left path. What do we have? We have no more control. He's automatically swimming that way. And that waterfall does not look promising, does it? Nor does the purple. Why is it purple? Hmm. Maybe it's technically less lit? Splat! After roaming off a pair of rock outcroppings, you find a final resting place at the base of the falls. What a resting place. The majority of music that you hear in this LP it's probably going to be the death music. Except for, of course, the intro, the outro, Vohal's theme, and there will also be sound effects. As you enter another of the mysterious subterranean chambers, you realize that the water is now racing towards a giant whirlpool in the middle of the area. Area. You are caught in the strong current, powerless to alter your course. Because I just don't have the lungs. Let's just watch. Your body is sucked down until, finally, you are able to resist no more and must yield to the overwhelming force. Splash! Geez, that was quite a trip. Peering around, you find yourself back in the open again. Do we have anything to the left? Nope. Hope I didn't take too long in the water. Hopefully I don't sink. Okay, I'm fine. Hmm. Now here we're at a dead end, so... I wonder what happens if we blow the whistle. You give the whistle a toot. It makes an odd sound. You hear an incredible whirring and grinding s sound coming from the north. The walls are cracking. Suddenly, a Labian terror beast buzzes into the room like a tornado, and he looks like he could do as much damage as one. And he's faster than me, too. Wow. Well, ain't that a hoot. That guy reduced you to a multicolored mound of coleslaw-like matter. Better than a Murfco slice-o-matic. You are dead, however. An epic death, nonetheless. So, now, low whistle. And after that... We gotta do something odd here. Throw the puzzle. You chuck the Cubix Rube puzzle over to the beast. The beast appears interested in your offering. Curiosity gets the better of him as he reaches down for it. He seems quite perplexed by the puzzling plastic polyhedron. Guess I couldn't use the term Rubik's Cube because it's a trademark, I guess. Anyway, hiding in the bushes and... Ow. Dang, allowing the guard to observe you is not very swift. He has disassembled you, probably adding a little excitement to his otherwise dull day. Is he really excited by other people's deaths? Throw rock. You can't just bear to part with your glowing gem. It's too heavy anyway. If only you had a small stone. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> 
so we gotta get a rock from here. Okay. We gotta get a rock from here. You pick up a small rock generated during the Terra Beast's grand entrance. If I survive this, I'm fine. Now let's throw the rock. You send the stone flying into the bushes. You hear it land. Hmm. Okay. So I walked a little bit too fast. And now what? I guess I hide. Or not. Nope. Hmm. Maybe I gotta sling the rock. Send the rock flying into the bushes. Again, you hear it land. Nope, that did not work at all. So, how about we sling the rock at the guard? You cleverly use the athletic supporter to sling the rock at the guard. Make serious contact with the side of his head. We like the way you think. He drops like a lead parakeet. The ripe thought of impact is momentarily sickening. He is perfectly still. Yep, he's knocked out. So, let's go ahead and look at this. You're in a small clearing. Before, before you stands a large elevated platform, much like the one on which you landed when arriving on this planet. On the leg of the platform is an elevator door. An unconscious guard lies at the base of the platform. Okay. Look at door. The, el the elevator is nothing spectacular to look at. On the left side is a thin slot. How about we put the key card in the slot? You slide the key card into the slot, then remove it. As soon as the elevator door closes behind you, the platform on which you rest begins to rise. Up we go. And down we go. You head back down to the lower level. Unfortunately, you were met by an armed guard. You have been quite a headache. To make it up to them, you are strung between the hovercraft, two hovercrafts. On the command go, life leaves you. Two different directions. <laughs> Only your imagination. Now... Ugh! After surviving to this point, you are still prone to acts typical of the mentally absent. <laughs> yep. So, from this side, we gotta enter the shuttle. You open the hatch and head on in. So what do we gotta do? We gotta push the power button, as this is quite the puzzle. Save this. Just regular mecha mind. Push thruster button. And shuttle begins to vibrate as the accent thrusters ignite. Pull lever. There is no horizontal control until minimum altitude has been achieved. Hmm. There is a way to die in this, by the way. By the way, I've already pushed the power button as of this save. Turn dial, and save here again, pull lever. Vert vertical controls are now ineffective. Push thruster, push thruster button. The shuttle begins to vibrate as the ascent thrusters ignite, so pull the lever. Ascent thrusters ready. Attitude system, vertical control. Forward ascend, back... Forward descend, back ascend. Press a key. And... Now we... I guess we just gotta wait. It's a waiting game here. What color is the sky? Blue? Maybe it's just a color generated by the Earth itself. Maybe it's not the literal sky. What is the definition of sky in, in reality, anyway? Why am I attempting philosophy here? You're off the planet. Good work. A tone sounds. A 
soft synthesized voice notes that adequate altitude has been achieved. Ascent thrusters are now ineffective. The monitor draws your attention again. Minimum altitude achieved. Attitude system, vertical control. Forward ascend, back, forward descend, back ascend. So, we gotta turn the dial. Set to horizontal. We gotta pull the lever. And I guess we save.